we kill. Now, back to the city of Wall. Um, I believe we had a lot a thing going on here. Hello, Leafer. I've just turned her on, and thank you for the reset. We left off last week playing with the law. I believe we're up to the law launcher for our current law. And then we can go change the laws that matter. However, I don't have my law list. Wait, do I have a law active? Let's double check it. La 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 la. It ain't here. So good. Key to ship. Oh, license, water. Dark. Da 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 da. Uh. No, actually, we don't. We're good. I need to go back to the next law. So how are you doing tonight, Leifer? You're doing good. Have a good week. Legislation Center. I think we need to go get a law. Um, the question is, which law do we need to change? I know we need to change 703. Yeah, according to the post, um, I don't think it's been delivered yet. Which law was this? This one I need to change. This law I need to change. Because this will save me a lot of headaches. I know which law this is. Poor Congo. Alright, so let's do this law change here. I don't know. I haven't kept track. Uh, 659. I need that lock code, cause... Actually, that one shouldn't count, because I went there to get the code I needed in order to not get caught anymore. That's the only way to get down there. I mean, you have to change 703 in order to advance the game. So, I mean, there is that, but, um... You have to keep in mind, um... the nuisance that this game presents sometimes. Da, 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 da. Now the question I have... 640, those who disturb order shall be... shall not be ignored without exception. Is a plot. This is relevant law again. Uh... No. Is this assumed the service is requested? Next. Oh. Hold on. Uh, is this a revision of a law again? Yes. Uh... 
uh, state the number of the article to be revised. We're going to revise 659. So that we can stop going to jail every time we get uh, busted. Okay. Deliberation on the uh, amendment to trespassers will be teleported to the jail. When the amendment code Article 659 trespassers shall not be teleported to jail. Law production license is issued. Take this to the law factory. Next deliberation. Alright, so now we can get this code taken care of. Which will make our lives a lot easier. Because I don't have to worry about these guys teleporting me just because I happen to be two inches too close to them. Come on. Like this guy. This guy's a pain in the back. And in some cases, it's actually faster to let them teleport you to jail than it is to actually walk out. Now, I did, I did have a, um, I did read one somewhere where somebody accidentally, uh, changed the law that says you, that allows you to shop. They changed it to where you can't shop. And then they couldn't understand why they couldn't shop anymore. Because they didn't realize that they'd used the wrong code. Why didn't I teleport myself? Because I walked. I just ignored him. Ah, I missed that one. I just ignored him. This angle is kind of weird. It's definitely a weird angle. I mean, these guys also have, like, deficiencies here, so... I think what we're gonna do here... Is wait till everybody has a Dragoon, and then we'll just Dragoon it in. <coughs> Get rid of the disparate and the, um, whatever she has. Um, I always hated the upper angle side of this one. Yeah, this particular angle is kind of weird. It's just such a strange angle. Picture of the Dragoon won't... Yeah. And it's all sad effects go away when you're a Dragoon. I'm using Lecture. So if I could actually do this with her, that status effect will go away. And the same thing with Rose. Oh, perfect! How oh, lovely. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. It's dead. And then we'll do the same thing with Rose. And then we can get rid of those stupid uh, debuffs, which are causing us so much issues. And that'll make life a little easier. I'm two for two. Wow. That's amazing. Mmm. 
Very shitty. Yummy. Yes. He's just missing. Most of them actually do work. Yeah. Because they were all being sold for uh, parts or repair. And that's always a... An ish of a thing. Come on! <laughs> I win. So the, the actual lot that I bought was 17 units total. It was nine fat PlayStation 1s. It was six of the slim PlayStation 1s. And two PSX P PlayStation 2 Desser models. And I haven't built checked the Desser models yet. Because those are going to take a lot to... Um, to test, I properly test, because they have uh, coaxial in and out, they have S-video in and out, they have composite in and out, and they have a uh, D1, D2 component out, and just to make your life more interesting, um, yeah, more interesting is that particular model has a hard drive and has a DVD writer built into it. I can't wait to test it out and play with it and make it all work. The only downside is it is a, um, it only plays Japanese games because they're not modified. So, without a, um, without modifying the system, I don't know if it's going to play non-Japanese games. I won't know that until I test it. But, it'd be fun to test and see what it does. But it doesn't, doesn't do. Ooh! Ooh! That was close. Let's 
go launch this. Wait for your turn. Go on up, launch it, be good to go. All right, Smith Law for launching license. Should be it. Understood. The law will be enforced. When the process is complete, step back. Thank you. Good to go. So yeah, it's a it's a lot of PlayStation ones that I have to go through and debug and repair and everything else. However, on a positive note, for oh, they just don't do anything. They just stand there. They don't even talk to you. <laughs> um, but on a positive note, what is it? I think it's five. at six now. I think it's around half of them are completely fully functional. And that's the crazy part. Is that they have several of them that are uh, fully functional and the only thing I have to do is um, get some cables for them. And I can put it up for sale. So that's a good thing, in my opinion. So I gotta, I gotta do that. I gotta go through the, um, the, edit, the effort of packing a whole bunch of PlayStation ones, and I get the PS2s that I have packed up. Is this revision of the law? Yes. All right, so we're gonna do 703. Now, what if I do something that's like not one of the normal laws? So let's say seven zero zero. System error, system error. The law is currently not in effect. Next. Okay. <laughs> so if you give it a bad code, it does just reject you. That's funny. Seven. does not per prohibit not movies from going to fear. Correction license issued. Uh, uh. Okay. Although we changed the law so we can go stop Daddy from destroying the sphere, but the only reason he can get to the sphere is because we changed the law so we could go try and stop him. I love the circular reasoning here. I love that reasoning. It's so horrible. But at least now it's quick. It's painless. We can get through real quickly. Alright, so... We are... Factory. And we get to go there. Easy peasy. Can't wait for the boss fight. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. it's gonna be a mess. It's going to be a mess. I know that. I have no clue if we're ready for it. To be honest. Yeah. I know. I can't guarantee we're actually ready for the boss fight. But 
that's okay. Because if we're not, then we'll just go somewhere and level up. We'll just have to go somewhere else and level up then. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. We've been leveling up pretty good. The only exception is we haven't leveled up much since we left the water area since we came here. Because this area doesn't have anything to fight. Oh, that reminds me, I still have to post my video game monthly. Um... I'm not exactly sure at the moment. I think you can go back to the water area. Yeah, I think the water city you can still go back to, so... If I can't, um... Hack at it, I'm trying to go back to the water city. Because I think we can still get there. With the teleporter. So if that's the case, then we should be good to go. But not sure. We'll cross that bridge if we yeah, if we come to it. I have to think about that if we actually have that problem and can't go to the water area, then we'll have to really think about what the heck we're gonna do. Alright. And then we come on off. In order to process of law. I mean, could you imagine this being how laws are processed? You just write a law and then it's instantly approved and processed and no big deal. Wherever it doesn't matter what the law is. You know. Give me tons of money. Process the law, go see the vendor, and he gives you tons of money. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, the way the system works of law, if you can, you can introduce a new law that says something that's stupid, and they would just say, okay, and just process the law. They don't even question it. I mean, why do I have the authority um, to do that? Sure, why not? And honestly, why not? It's one of those things that it doesn't... Ow. Yeah, the, the laws in this area just don't matter. Bloody bugger. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change their, um, uh, additions for the boss. Because... We're going to have to do something serious for that. And I don't remember if we need anything special for this boss. Like if he does petrification or stun or confusion or anything like that. I don't remember. That's why I don't remember if this bot does that. So, the other problem we have... Is we have a lack of mana. That is a huge issue.
But the one that actually needs mana will probably be, um... Uh... Maru anyway, for her healing spells. Her healing spells are probably the only thing we're gonna need mana for. And she already has the, uh, magics, the magic regeneration item on her, so... She's good to go. The biggest issue we have here is, um... Lack of health at the moment. So I need to rest up a little bit. Stop picking on Rose! I get my dragoons up. I gotta get um, my mana up. I get my health up. You know, there's a whole lot of things I gotta worry about, so. It's gonna be fine. I know Maru's gonna need magic because she needs healing. You can go in and come back. I know. But that's not gonna help my Dragoon levels. Because we can go to the flying theme of Dugger and go to a town where we can get uh, everything back. That's not a problem. That's not the issue. The issue we have is lack of Dragoon levels. Really. So, not too bad. Hey, I actually got that one to work today. Go to town. We'll get ourselves um, all healed up. We'll come back, we'll save again, and then we'll go. Um, take care of business. Let's go ahead and change additions. Uh, put him back to Crash Dance. Put Rose back to Heart Blade. Leave her on Cool Boogie. feelings like I want to have petrification on. If I have anti-petrification rings, do I even have them? Should somewhere. Fusion free fear disparity disparity Yeah I know it's always magic defense 
It's always the one thing that is almost impossible to do in this game. I swear, it's like the hardest thing to do in this game is magic defense. Because none of the armors really gave you good magic defense. I thought I had anti stone. Do I not have anti stone? I we did. Kind of miss games that actually sort these things. You know, like I think I want to change my amulet, and it lists only the ones that you have. That's avoidance. Therapy ring. Therapy ring. Uh, magic avoidance. No, I get. You think you're gonna get sick? Why? He's got a D stone already on him. She's got a D stone already on her. Okay, we'll leave those on. It's like, what am I looking for? I'm looking for what's already equipped. Off in stream so much. Off. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Your health will go up. for the hydration. Right. Oh, how much hydration are you going to get me? Make trying to make me float away. Um, I have to get my, my floaties out. You don't get to fly around the world. I've been here a while. That's how I want. I 
actually want to go down this way. Uh, that's the end. Hold on. Does I want to go? If I land way now, I don't even know anymore. I came to the wrong town. I didn't want to be here. But I'll grab the inn anyway. Get up there so we can go to the inn. Yes, please. Ah! What do we have here? Dragon faces. Wow, thank you, dragon face. That is so awesome. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? What you up to tonight? You have a good... You have a good stream? Real, yeah, I see that. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, Dragon Rage. Always appreciated. Always appreciated. Uh, get treated. Make sure we're clear of everything. And then we can go die in our boss fight. Because we're getting geared up for a boss fight here. And we're going to get our butts whooped. We just know it. Um, I don't think I can... Yeah. So this is not the inn. This is the clinic. No problem. I think the inn is the one across the road. This is over here, I think. If I remember correctly. And then we'll go through here. Maybe? Huh? Stay the night. Walk away. Stay the night. Yes, please. There we go. Now we can go back to where we were in the City of Law, and we'll go from there. Dude's just kind of dying underneath the little railing there. I find that funny. I do, I find that hysterical. Alright, so... We go back to the city of law. There we go. Take our little flying... man ray or whatever he is. Back to the city of law. Because this is awesome. Hey, you're joined us at a good time, because you're about to watch me get my butt whooped. At least that's the expectation, anyway. Is that we're going to get our butt whooped. So we'll see how that works out for me. So we're back to having full health, we're having full mana, we're good to go, and everything. I've already changed all the laws we need to change, and we're going upstairs. Alright, the law prohibits humans from going to the signet sphere. I know that, but it should be to be revised now. Our vision has been received. Hey, you can't you be more flexible? Maybe the spell is not that strong and I'm here? But I'm here and why don't you let us go? The law prohibits humans from going to the sequence room. The world is in crisis near at hand. Hey, we're gonna have a boss fight. We're gonna get our butts blown up. Uh, no interest in world crisis, interest only in compliance with law. Here comes the law update. Wingly code article 703 revised in force immediately. The law does not prohibit non wingies from going to the Sigma Sphere. It says, does not prohibit. It seems the prohibiting produced law is launched, arrives, and then 
is enforced. Uh, they are treating laws as if they were commodities. <laughs> uh, that's all it says it was anyway. The law was a mere tool to juggle, to judge other creatures for them. The Wingleys. Uh, we spent too much time with that tool. We gotta get the sickness here before Father does. Yes! Alright. Uh, talk to this dude. Uh, you have the flying disc, turn device, destination. Uh, confirm decision. Alright. So. Yeah, the only other place we, ha we haven't gone is. I don't know what the codes are for us to go to, like, the residential section? Destination death. Yes! We are destination death. Sinosphere should be in here. Uh, Sinosphere, Sinosphere, Sinosphere. Uh, Dart, Rose, Albert, Heschel, Maru, Congo, and Miranda. Total seven. Two what? Confirmed. Accused. Accused? What does that say? You are at the flying disc station in front of the great cord. Uh, it is a ways to ask. <laughs> Guilty! Going to jail? Yeah, I think so. Didn't we give ourselves a get-out-of-jail free card, though? I mean, we did give ourselves the get-out-of-jail free card. So... See, if you knew which code it was was gonna cause this, you could revise the law. So that you're not going to jail. Oh, where are we? Uh, this is the court of Xenobatos. It is the place where judgment is passed for non-winglies under the name of fake justice. Uh, and still now. Guilty, 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 guilty. My name is Nemos, and I am the justice. My word is the only truth. We are here to protect the Satanist sphere. Let us go through here. Accused, Dart, Rose, Albert, Hassel, Miranda, Maru, and Congo. It seems you know we are here for the Satanist sphere, and you are trying to intervene. Why? Accusation. The will, uh, the will of the creator, so, uh, it's not working. Oh no, it's, is this manipulated by father? Yes. He changed the code. Thus the death penalty is sentenced. Come out, wing, winged executioners. Vector, Salabas. Kubala. Uh, start your execution. Okay. You are G. Uh, I am guilty. And I'll send it too fast. The spam engine might pick, might pick you up. Alright. So we have some friends here. Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, that doesn't look fun. That looked painful. Alright, um, Dragoon. Yeah, I forgot to level up my Dragoons, so we don't have the insta-win button. Um, let's start with... Let's try Salas. Let's see if this is the best way to... Um, 
clear this out. I mean, I could use, like, the dragon magic. And just do a uh, big old dragon wipe first. That would be fun. So, what we can do is... I can drop an explosion on their head, or I can drop a red dragon on their head. Uh, let's drop a red dragon on their head. This should be entertaining. We'll do this. We'll drop the red dragon, and we'll drop the black dragon. We will not drop the white dragon. Because we need her magic for health. So how's that doing? That was beautiful. That was a lovely attack. Unfortunately, Maru is actually in a decent position. I missed. One of those can came and one of move. Yeah, I kind of suspect that might be the case. That one might be able to do that. And this might be the attack. This, this looks like the kind of attack you would be a uh, KO on it. No, it actually didn't do much damage at all. I was surprised. He's got a big old pair of scissors. What's that all about? I mean, I get the side. You know, I get that. Okay, so that one is definitely what you need to whack on. We definitely need to clear subs. Because that's the heal. What? That was cheap. Does any damage? I mean, I get a perfect as an oh, you missed. So rude. So rude to do that. I swear, this game has no sense of uh, respect. No sense of respect. Well, that didn't do much damage at all. Ugh. I know she's a harpy. I get it. Of course she's confused. Oh my goodness. Poor Maru. Oh, that's bad. This is gonna suck. It's gonna so suck. Alright. She's dead. Is that one not 
hittable on physical attacks? It's possible you can't hit that with physical attacks. Like it's immune to physical combat, physical attacks. That's possible. But I've hit her with a physical attack before. It's like, ah! I swear. It's okay. We'll, we'll get through this. We will get through this. She heals them. They don't heal her. So, what we need to do is we just need to do enough damage to her in order to um, take her out and not die, have the little person die. That's the catch. Uh, yeah, do that. That's just get some damage. I don't want to use the dragon. That way, this thing could heal. So it's a it's a trick. You gotta get yourself balanced just right. So that you don't lose a lot of ground. She's down. That's fine. That means she can res next round. That's good. Now she's confused. Oh. Jeez, this is total garbage. Your confusion wore off. That's good. No, nope, confusion still exists. Never mind. We'll see. Come on. Ignore us. Don't do any damage. Oosh. Talk to the big kid again. Come on. Making the look of this. Dragoon. This does not look good. Magic. Rainbow breath. Before this guy whacks somebody. And so this isn't gonna whack anybody, at least we're we're gonna be fully healed. That's a that's a good thing. Mm. 
because her effect does fix everybody. <laughs> Which is a good thing. We just need somebody to be able to take out that stupid caster. Alright. So. We have a burnout. That works for her. Because she does not like fire. Come on. Come on, baby. Give me a big old fireball. Give me that big old fireball. There we go. Healer's down. different conversation. You want a different conversation over there. This guy? Kabila? Yeah, okay, maybe. I was going for the one that was doing the more damage, but you might be right. He may have the ability to do any... I mean, he is doing magic damage, which is pretty bad. <laughs> well, there is that. Um... That definitely is a reason to get him out of the way first. I didn't know he had that he had a um a death spell. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Problem is Okay, so magic. I got enough for one rainbow breath. One rainbow breath. And then we'll be okay. But I've got to hit a cool boogie in order to keep us alive. Because she really needs that. So. Uh, you need to go hit him. <laughs> that was bad. Takes the random spell. Lightning bolt. Okay. That doesn't do that much damage. It's fine. Because I can use a, um, a healing breeze. I got plenty of healing spells. We have plenty of healing. Oh, bad! Hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. We all know you're perverted. 
if you have made that well known in um, many a stream. Bad. I am just not hat that with it today. This is bad. You want to eat him too? No, I have no cat. I just. yourself. We don't need to hear him. Alright, Dragoon. If I can hit the additions, we'd be fine today. That's the thing. If I can hit those stupid additions, we'd be good. But for whatever reason today, I just cannot hit the additions. I'm so having a hell of a time hitting the additions today. It really sucks. Because it's making our lives so much more difficult. However, we can do this. I do have a uh, dart dragoon. He has no magic. One perfect dragoon. That is some damage. Nice, 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 nice. That serves us some headaches. So that's not too bad. Now, Rose. There we go. Beautiful. And she can go ahead and do one of these. Didn't quite get perfect on that one, so it kind of stinks. But we will make some progress on this and we'll move on from there. is though do I need the health or do I need missed so the question is do I need the health or do I need the attack I'm thinking I need the attack Because I, that instant death ability should come up sometime soon. <laughs> I love her. She is fantastic. She is fantastic. I 
fair to say Maru is probably one of my favorite characters. If not my favorite character on this game. I mean, I like all of the characters. They're all a lot of fun. But she's one of those that... It's just a great all-around character. Yeah, do that. Give us some help. But the greatest thing, we have Maru set up. Well, she's also really the best support character um, in the game. Because she's got that heal of hers, which allows, oh, someone's dead. There goes Maru. Bye bye. Or who got ripped. But she gets that good, she gets a really good heal. Dragoon for damage. <laughs> yeah, he definitely teabagged us, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, that was... That was definitely something else. Not something I ex would have expected out of a game from 1999 before teabagging became a, a meme. Because too bad you became a meme and <laughs> it was considered rude and all that jazz, but at this point it wasn't. At this point it was a, um, a funny gag to pull on somebody, but jeez. He does, he does the most damage, but he doesn't... Um, the biggest his biggest thing is that he's not fast enough to do any significant damage. He's just a meat bag. That just can hit hard, but he's not fast. So he just takes a lot of hits and so be it. Like yeah, he's gonna eat he's gonna another top on her. But he basically gets one attack per round. I just healed her though. And I literally just healed her. That's what hurts. is I just healed her. Hopefully he doesn't do anything to her. I hit the right button! Bugger. Missed. that we're gonna need to there we go yes. I won't say this guy's a joke 
But he's no, but he's no more difficult than, you know, regular, a regular monster you would fight. No! Bugger! Stop beating on Maru! She's still alive? She is still alive! How? I have no clue. I don't know how she's still alive. Twelve thousand experience points. Which means you gain a few levels. Get some money. But didn't lose our brains. Didn't lose the fight. Cool beans. Master hurries to the god. Rebels against Soa's will overcome me. <sighs> the Sinosphere is over there. Let's go. Let's not. Let's save. Now, there shouldn't be another boss fight. So... We should be okay. Um... This game is not the type to do that. Except maybe on the last boss. You know, multi-stage type boss. But see, this is what I was afraid of running into. You know, a monster that's gonna just whoop our ass in one hit. Give me some rainbow breath. So the last couple days I've been playing Final Fantasy 2. Which is kind of like this, where it's like more skill-based than anything else. That's, that's a lot of skill-based stuff. It has no levels per se, it's just all skills. And I completely forgot how much different a skill-based combat is. Yeah, that's pretty normal, though. Having, having three or four phases on the last boss is very common. We can take Final Fantasy for... Um, for that trope. I think they were the only one, first ones to do it. Yeah, have the last boss have you know, more than one phase, but it's fine. I missed. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. You kind of expect it after a while. That's why you generally stack up on a real metric ton of uh, healing items and stack your healer really beefy. Because you need to have that, you know, that healing. But no, with Maru though, she's kind of a weird Weird fruit, but you get her late, and yet she's like the best healer you know in the game because she does really good damage, 
and she has a really good heal. And if you stack her right... Like, I have her stacked out, so she's really fast, and she's got... Um... Uh... The mana regen. And if you said, like, Cool Boogie, where you get, like, 120 points for every successful, um, addition usage, she's always got a heal ready. Not to mention you have the defense heals, which is fantastic. Which we're gonna use here. Now that we're down to one dude. And spend a few minutes and just heal ourselves back up. Because we can. This is one of those we're having um a just Everybody repeat the last effect, which is something that some games have and some games don't. Um, it's something they added to the Final Fantasy digital remasters, the, the pixel remasters, because they added in the ability to uh, auto whatever your last effect was. So you can have... Um, You can put yourself on guard like this, and it's one button. Every round, just one button, and all your characters just do the guard, or they do the attack, or whatever. Of course, that wouldn't work in this game, because, you know, you kind of have the problem of the QTEs for every attack. But, for the defensive stuff, like being able to do... Like, everybody guard. That would be nice. Because you don't have to sit there and do it this way. But that's okay. The other thing that I miss that this game doesn't have is the, um, the who's next bar. Most of the games have, like, a bar at the top. Like, in this case, because the text at the bottom will be at the top of the screen. That tells you the order that everybody takes their turns in. And this game doesn't do that. Oh, we've got, actually. We've got it. So you just kind of get a feel for who's next and what order everybody's in and all that. really like to see this game redone or have a if they couldn't redo this one for some reason say for licensing that was in the category of what the fuck That's the WTF was that. I didn't know he had an instant death attack. Alright, have a good night, Leafer. I'm going to go shoot myself now. Because that was just total garbage. Oh, good. It's just a death. We just have to hope it doesn't attack Maru. Why? I use 
the angel fair. I'll give her some health at least. I don't know why I just want to assist on whacking on her today. I mean, it's not like we're dealing with Shauna and everybody's throwing her bones. I mean, that was, that was hysterical, but that was just weird. We're in the undead, uh, ship. It was a ghost ship. And all of the undead wanted to throw their bones. Shauna. Everybody wanted to bone her. It was pretty funny. They all thought she needed her bones. Leave Maru alone. Okay. Fine. I give up. I'm going for the end. Just, just stop harassing me. Uh, the atmosphere. He's done it. It is losing its magic power. The moon dagger is serving as proof. Now on Earth, how on Earth did he get here? Same way you did. He flew. Zig. Now the sky is one of my roads, too. Mother! Can you hear the movements of the God of Destruction? As if a hymn to the new world. It sounds like an outcry of the world to me. With the outcry, Shauna will be reborn to the god who no longer knows you. Yeah, things completely corrupted. She deserves that too. Okay? She does not. You'll see when you meet her. But for Shauna, you are a mere object to be destroyed. Bye-bye. He's not Zig. Then who is he? We will find out in the city of the last signature. Um, I will in Mayfall. Okay, so. That isn't too bad. Oh, it took us about an hour to get that far. It's okay. Not sure I want to get to Mayfield, but you know. What do we got here? I really don't want to do this fight. Let's see if we can just run. Because that fight is obnoxious. It's long. It's not fun. I mean, killing the one death's fine, but even two deaths is fine, but. I guess to the next section. Of the story. Cause we gotta get to Mayfill, and then we gotta figure out what we're supposed to do there. You are at the flying disc station, departing from the Sinus Fabric Board from the destination. Stop work twice. This is your work. Now I'll be able to figure out our Mayfell is. Wait, what's this 
dude. This dude's new. I don't know what this dude is. That's a new dude. I care about two people. nothing to you. Thank you. I'll beat up somebody else. There we go. That takes care of that. And I think we'll go ahead and um everybody rest up. This professor's not the one that's got the little dance to death thing. It's the other one. So. We're okay to sit here and rest up with his little bugger. This guy likes to throw books at us. We know that. Alright, don't kill this guy. beauty. Always a beautiful thing. Alright, so that's good. Takes care of that. And we'll move on. So this is the little dude over here who's new. Martial law is relaxed. Revision is required to move to Death City, Mayfell. Wingley Code 410. Setting of the teleportation is connecting to Death City, Mayfell. Shall be disconnected. So, 410, we need to change that. Let's place the center. And then we'll go to, four, we'll take care of 410. And we'll be good to go. We'll see. See, I don't understand why we just can't take the flying, uh, man array. You know, why we have to uh, change the teleporter's configuration to go where the man array should be able to take us. Frozen chat. Pick this up along the way. Burning wave. Because there's a few items that I haven't picked up because I just have room. But, I mean, I do need healing and I do need. Yeah. So, give us the. Sir, yes. Or. One, zero. We need our code 410. Deliberating 
an amendment to setting of a teleporting device connected to Dead City shall be disconnected. Uh, Weekly amended code 410 setting of teleportation uh, device to Death City. Mayfell shall not be disconnected. Law production license is issued. Okay. I love how I just I can just change whatever laws I want. And the system just doesn't care. It just doesn't care. It's kind of funny if you ask me. But, it is what it is. And... Yes, 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 yes. Go to the factory. I'll stop in at that vendor before we leave here. Because I can take in whatever items um, we need to pick up. It seems like that spectral flash and the heat wave are worth keeping. attack, powerful attack for all. See, Spectral Flash is good. Heat Wave's good. Frozen Jet. Okay. Meteor Fall. Psych Bomb. Need to save that for, like, last resort. I forget when that's supposed to be used. Probably in the, the main boss fight. Uh, Spectral Flash. Spectral Flash is a really good one. Flash Hall is pretty good too. I don't know if we have any more. Um. Chests to pick up along the way. Maybe one or two more? Here's the law production license. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Now I just need to go to the uh, launcher so that we can uh, set it up. And what we'll do is we'll pick up some more uh, revives on the way out the door when we leave here. Because we use quite a few of them and I want to make sure we have at least five. Because that's what we do. We always have five on us. Yes, bye. Two, three, four, five. This is one space. Now, this problem is we actually did use quite a bit of uh, healing magic. And we picked up a bunch of attack magic. So. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing for us. Still not sure. That might be a bad thing. But... Down burst, that's a wind-based attack. And... 
Talisman. No, I can't. Do I have anything else that I can sacrifice? That's emergency MP. You don't know what? No, mind pure fire. I actually don't need that. Gravity grabber. Alright, so gravity bits today. Works for me. We'll need those when we get to the last boss anyway. That's an important thing to have, is as much good, solid, heavy magic as you can. Because you really need it. When you have a multi-phase boss like you always like you have in these types of games, you have three or four phases at the end. Um, you need those types of spells to be able to uh, burn through their HP as fast as possible. It doesn't matter what phase you're on, because you, know, you stop using those types of spells when you get down to. Uh, like the red line, but to get them to the red line, yeah, you use those simple spells all the time. What you use them for? So. I know it's taking us like 20 minutes. To do this stuff. So silly. So silly. Law and Disorder. I should have named this stream. Law and Disorder. We 
can go where we want to go. Martial law is relaxed, the law is revised. Transfer to Death City may feel possible. something like that, but okay. Oh. Zeke. Over 11,000 years, and it still leads souls to hell. Maybe it is connected to the devil dome. But it doesn't matter now. plan determined by SOA uh, will drink everything to the last drop. He's moving like a wingway. It's kind of weird. the death city. So it's kind of like a... I don't know what it looks like. It is cool, though. Rose, what's that? When there were still wingways here, I used to suck souls from all over the world into that huge tower so they could decide the destination of their souls. But why? You want to say it should have been destroyed during the Dragon Campaign, didn't you? Both Agalus and Zenobatos were working. It shouldn't be that strange. But we destroyed this place completely. So they could never play with souls. But maybe this is... Uh, do the souls that couldn't completely die gather here? I don't like this. But whatever happens, as long as the moon is in the sky, we are fine. The signet sphere is still safe. Not for long. Hurry up, we need, we have to get there before dad. Not happening, he's gonna be there way before we do. What do we have here? This is the soul of Fairbrand, the green tusked dragon. That is Fairbrand? It came out in response to the dragon spirit of Albert. He said that souls that couldn't completely die gather here. Is it the same for the dragons? Yes, probably. They're defeated by humans who were supposed to be less powerful than that became a burden on their soul. If we kill it again, we can probably break that attachment. But we don't have time to deal with them. No, we don't. I feel sorry, but... We have to catch up with Zeke, or the world will end. But I 
want to. It seems we tempted it into fighting us. Is there no choice? Uh, we have no time. I'll cut your attachment now. I did not attach, do we? Oh, I'll well, beat up all the dragons. just you. I'm gonna need your rainbow breath just to keep you alive. Cause I don't really want to do a lot of um, heavy lifting here. I don't want to use a lot of dragon dragoons if I don't have to. Yeah, as well as I don't really want to have to do that. targeting her. No clue why. As I don't know why that's targeting her. Oh, finally, I attacked somebody else. I mean, you normally see it's got like a one in three chance. But it really doesn't. It's the the opponents in this game clearly weight certain party members higher than others. You know, it, it targets certain people way more often. Way more often. Like, um, uh, Albert and Levitt, for whatever reason, they are almost always getting handed every attack. And no matter how much defense you give them, it doesn't seem to matter. They're always just getting their butts handed to them. That was good. Beautiful. I don't have rose at the moment, but yippee! I love that. Stop it! Yippee! Okay. Though I think after 
after this boss fight, we're gonna find a safe point and, um... Reset our dragoons. Because I suspect we're gonna run into all seven dragoons. And... Frankly... We're not really prepared for it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna see all the dragons, I think. Now that'd be fun! It really would be a lot of fun to do that. I'm sure we'll get some... Um... Good experience from them. But... As well as any items we get from them. I would be surprised if we get items from them as well. generate magic every turn is I can go into a boss fight I can use her big heavy dragon attack and by the time I need her healing I've got plenty of healing to use it's fantastic and what's fantastic about her heal though is it heals everything I mean, it doesn't give 100% health. It's only half health. But it heals all status ailments. And it gives half health. And with her having the, um, uh, cool boogie on, which gives 120%, if she gets it, if I get it right, and having the item on to regenerate the mana, literally every other turn, we can cast it if we have to. Which is amazing. Downburst. Alright. That's cool. Um... I guess maybe? Um, I do want to keep the downburst though. Because those are really good. Uh, get rid of the mind purifier. I'm this card, yes. Uh, now the 
console of Firebrand is saved? Yes, probably. Now let's get going. Alright, so what's the next room? Okay, so I don't see... Um... Was there a save point at the beginning? I think there was. Uh, doesn't look like it. I think I actually have to go back to the other zone to save, and I want to save beating that dragon. Alright, so let's see what these guys have. Alright, so Loner Knight, Human Hunter. That was just me being bad on the attack. Let's see how many hit points he has. That was painful. Yeah, he's half dead, so. They only have about a thousand hit points. That's good. As long as that doesn't give an instant death. That's all that matters. Uh, I, I do not like instant death magic. I find it to be a um, cheap way that developers use to create stupid levels of unnecessary difficulty. Okay, so that did like no damage. At all? That was bad. Oh, that's even worse. Power-ups are Every time they do that, it adds like 10 or 20 percent to their damage. And if it's already a heavy hitting opponent, that can be a huge, huge pain. Yes, <sighs> Frost. So we're gonna go back to the bed of those. We're gonna save. Probably gonna save as Anabetos. And then we'll come back. Because after that green dragon fight, I definitely need to save. I really don't want to go through that again. I mean, the sheer amount of story that we had to read through, and just the fact that it was a long fight. That's the, the last thing you want to do is have to deal with that. Do this. Provide right, a little save. Now, at this point in the game, which we are like right towards the end, this is about the last point you can do this. But if you were wanting to do all of the side content, so get all of the um, uh, what is it? Stardust, whatever it is. It's the, uh... What the heck is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stardust. 
Stardust. So you need 50 Stardust in order to get all of the optional bosses in the game. And at this point, you could go do that. This is like the last chance you have to do all the optional bosses. So if you wanted to do the optional bosses, you could at this point. So you could go all over the world. Yeah, I'd say find a guide to find your 50. Poison Garg. Okay. That left the board. Send me back up. But yeah, I could say, say, you know, if you wanted to do that, I would heavily recommend going back to, um, figure out. Where are we going? That chest. Panic guard. Well, that's a thing. So you've gotten a poison guard and a panic guard since we've been here. Not sure what... Okay, so there's our next dragon. So let's see what this takes us to. Because we know that's going to take us to the next dragon. Stun guard. And there's the uh, rest point, save point. So. It looks like I'm trying to figure out how to get down there. I guess maybe you can't from here. Are to get in the yep. well, That's bad. Okay, so these things do not take physical damage. Alright, we run. Because what I need is any dragoons anyway. I need to be able to have my dragoon stats, not my. not waste magic. Because all, all those are going to do is make us play some magic. And I really don't want to do that. I don't mind leveling up, you know, doing some fights to level up my dragoons. Because we could use the APS, the, uh, the levels, as well as we could use a little bit of healing. And what we can do here is we can get scarred through. We'll guard through this. And we'll be okay. Get ourselves back up to full health. And then we'll, um, be able to deal with us. We have that next dragon to deal with. And I don't mind dealing with dragons. I think that's a. It's gonna be a fun party. But we do need to uh, get our health back, as well as get our dragoon levels up. 
as being able to walk into a dragon fight. And, um, be able to just drop. You know, three dragoons for three rounds, or five rounds, on their head. It is a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's just the way I, it should always work. He's, he is solid, though. This guy's going red. That was bad. Wow, well, she took a lot of damage from that. And he heals. Don't kill her! Pain in my butt. The last thing we need is her to, to die. These spell effects. What are they doing? They don't seem to be doing any damage. Guard, and the girls just need to kill this guy. I'll shoot that up. Let Rose do it. There we go. And that should give her max. Give her her all five to go. All right, so um, I'm. I don't want to get involved in that fight. Yeah, it's probably gonna be another twenty-minute fight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out. And we will continue this next week. So if you haven't hit the follow button to see when I go live, you might want to do that. Um, I will be playing uh, X Rebirth tomorrow. And I may or may not play anything for Monday, Tuesday, and Monday and Tuesday, I may or may not um, play anything, so kind of keep tuned to either uh, Twitch or Twitter to see if I'm going live. Because I may not do anything those days. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But Friday is No Man's Sky, Saturday is Legend of Dragoon until we complete the game. And we've only got a couple weeks left of this. And then, uh, Sunday is X Rebirth until I complete that. So, that is our current game schedule. We do do this on a regular basis, so I greatly appreciate it. Um... Let's see here. Right. We're good on everything. Maru, go ahead and rest. And we'll see what we've got going on here. Dark can go ahead and kill it. Let's see now. Alright, 
get this guy over right here. Beautiful. One more of those, and we'll be good to go. Go ahead and rest. Okay, let's get the attack. And we're burning through this guy, guy. So I said that's our schedule for the next week. Since we've had for a while. Um, it seems to work for everybody. So, back to Senator Batos. And I think that's about it. I know we go until about 11, but sort of closing a little early today, but that's okay. Because that fight's going to be like a 23 minute fight, and I really don't want to uh, finish 11 30. So, I like to get ready for coming and visiting. Um, I know most of you just kind of lurking today, which is fine. I don't mind lurkers. It's a good game just to watch. Uh, I hope everything was entertaining for you, and I greatly appreciate it. So, like I said, come back again next time, and we'll have some more gameplay and more, more games to talk about. So have a good night and thank you for visiting.